So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing data types in C++. We have discussed intent flow data type. Now we'll see the ne next is character data type in C++. So in this video, we'll talk about this thing, all the points about character data type, like how characters are stored, the size of the character data type. Everything we'll discuss with the help of a program, I'll show you practical also, right? Now before that, I just want to ask you one thing. If you guys are preparing for placements or if you guys will be preparing for placements, then one subject which is really very important for interview point of view is data structure and algorithm. In every interview, in technical round of, you know, in every company, they ask this uh, question from this subject, data structure and algorithm. So you need to practice questions on DSA and algorithms, right? You have to, you know, prepare a complete roadmap to prepare for DSA. But the question is from where you can prepare, from where you can practice the questions of data structure and algorithm. So there is one platform, Geeks for Geeks, where you will get a lots of questions on each topic. Like in data structure, you can say arrays, stack, linked list, or you can search more topics. On each topic, topic wise, you will get list of questions. So you can practice this thing from here. For algorithm also, searching algorithm, sorting algorithm, you will get many questions on this uh, site. But if you want to prepare specific company wise interview problems, then also you will get here that thing. You can select any company like Amazon, Samsung or Microsoft. You can click on that and you will find out the list of questions that would be asked in the interview of those company. So company specific interview pro problems also you will get here. You can practice those problems here. And these you know, problems are of good standard. They have listed down all the you know, problems from basic to advanced level. So I think it would be good resource for you guys to prepare your data structure and algorithm to practice data structure and algorithm questions. So the link of this website, I'll put in the description box of this video, you just go to that link and you will get these questions, right? According to your convenience, you can select the topic or the company and you can prepare, you can practice those questions. So all the relevant links and details will find in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's see what is CAD data type. So it take it takes one byte of memory means eight bits to store you see in the next last video we have discussed one video like int short int and so data data modifiers are also there short long unsigned and signed so two data modifiers you can use with care that is signed and unsigned no short and long you can use with care right so the short int was having size two bytes and care is taking one byte of memory so this is you can say the smallest one 8 bits right so you can uh, the maximum number and minimum number you can store in this is what there are 8 bits in every bit you put 0 0 0 so the minimum number is 0 and the maximum one, maximum is in all the 8 bits store 1 1 1 1 so that would be 255 255 is nothing but 2 raised to power 8 minus 1 right this is for unsigned care the range and for signed CAR, the range is minus 128 to 127. It's nothing but minus 2 raised to power 7 to 2 raised to power 7 minus 1. Why 2 raised to power 7 bits? Because 1 bit is for sign, the MSB, whether it's negative or positive. Remaining 7 bits are used to store the number. See, why we are, get, we are the logic for getting this thing and this thing we have discussed, that in, when we were discussing the int data type, the range of int data type. The same logic you have to put here and you will get the range here. So this is for unsigned range, unsigned care, this is for signed care. Now see, this basically care data type is used to store characters like ABCD, small ABCD, capital ABCD and small numbers also, integer value, right? So see, when you write a program, the com computer can't understand high level language, English language, whatever, in whatever language we write the program, computer is not able to understand that thing. That would be converted into zeros and ones, binary form, right? And that computer can understand. Now, if suppose we want to store something like this, in a program we have int a is equal to 10. So this 10 also we, is integer value, so that would be converted into binary with numeric system, right? We have a numeric system. So this 10 would be 1010. Now that would be stored in computer memory, right? But how this character like we have A, we have A, we have the symbol dollar, we have hash, 
how these letters and symbols are to be stored to be converted into binary see if a computer if a number is the integer we can use numer numeric system and we can convert it into binary but how these symbols and characters can be converted into binary these are not in this uh, integer form right so for for this thing we have character system right you can google how many character systems are there there are list of character systems you will get the, but the famous one is si character system we use american standard code for in, information interchange si table this is the si table and mainly character system were introduced mainly for computer programming languages one character using one character system one entire language can be converted into integer form right like you can see in sky we have capital a b c d for each character we have in numeric value integer value for capital a we have 65 for small a we have 97 like this so one complete language can be converted into integer form and once you get integer number using numeric system we can convert that integer into binary form and that's how we store these characters or alphabet or you know digits or symbols into binary form using character system these are characters are stored same as integers are stored in the computer memory right these are nothing but numeric uh, using a sky uh, a system sky code they are Uh, converted into uh, you can say integer number integer form numeric form and then binary and then stored in the computer memory right let's see in sky table from 0 to 31 first 32 characters are unprintable you cannot print these things these are just commands right after 32 32 is for space after 32 from 33 you get Uh, the letters the capital a b c d small a b c d uh, the numbers 0 to 9 and some symbols as you can see in the table so how we can use this scary data if you with the help of a program let me just show you first of all for that thing you have to remember these circles same here we, here also we have circles signed and unsigned so signed for signed care we have 0 1 2 up to 127 And minus one, minus two till minus one twenty eight, minus one twenty seven. This value. And for unsigned care, we have zero, one, two, up to two fifty five. Here we have two fifty four, two fifty three. So whenever we print, when you write a program, you have to, you know, keep in mind these circles. and see this is what sky use american standard code for information interchange but it's not like that only americans are in the world there are many other languages also right other people also exist in this you uh, know world so other languages are also there those languages have their special symbols those symbols are not in this sky table so for those symbols for those languages we use which table unicode table right and for unicode table to represent a character or a symbol which is in unicode table another data type is used that is because uh, in that table we have many 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 characters many symbols and using character we have only 8 bits so maximum we can represent up to 255 characters see if you uh, do the plus of small letters 25 uh, 26 26 capital letters then 0 to 9 numbers then some the, those symbols then those the sum of these are less than 255 right so that's why char is sufficient to represent that language right but we have multiple languages in the world many characters are there many symbols are there russian language and many languages right so char is not sufficient to represent those uh, those characters or symbols right so the characters or symbol that are in unicode table that would the uh, which uh, data type is used to represent those thing w char underscore t this is not in c this is in c++ so that thing also we'll discuss in next video this take actually two bytes means 16 bits right so using 16 bits you can see how many 
character we can represent is 2 raised power 16 minus 1. 0 to 2 raised to power 16 minus 1. That is more than this, this thing, right? So, this thing we will discuss about this uh, data, we will discuss in the next video. Let me just show you now one example or you can say a program of care data. Okay, so we have created a file care underscore dt dot cpp. Now, there we have uh, header io stream dot h, then using namespace std. Then in main, we are declaring a care data type. Care, suppose I am taking a variable name care ch equal to. Now, whatever you will write in single quote, that will be considered as a character. So, in single quote, I am suppose simply I am writing a. You know this is character, right? And semicolon. And if you don't write any data modifier before the scare, then it would be considered as signed character. It will take both positive value and negative value, right? So now let let's just print this C out, and I'm just printing I'm not, uh, ch, and this is for endl I'm printing. Now what it will print? Simply it will print. Simple answer is it will print a small a because we have stored this small a right and small a is stored how converted into first of all the integer form that is 97 97 converted into binary and that could be stored in memory so this we get nine seven here sorry a here but if you want to get that integer value of this a like a sky value then how that also you can get how you have to type cast this thing before the ch just type cast and int because we want to print the what int value right so this is typecasting don't worry we will discuss uh, this typecasting everything in the later video in detail but just I just want to show you this thing so just have to print in bracket int that's it and it will print the integer value of this a is 97 so it will print 97 as you can see right now see if I store here 2 2 is also a character. Now, I am suppose int you are taking and what it will print right now, see it is printing 50 because 2 it is taking as a character and in sky table as you can refer in this sky table corresponding to 2 the decimal or the you can say the numeric value integer value is 50. So, it is printing 50 right, but if you want to print simply this character not the corresponding sky value. So, you no, no need to type cast it, simply print ch, the name of the variable, it will print 2, right. So, and c, rather than this quote mark, single quotation mark, if I simply store integer value 2, what it will print now, it will print c, what it is printing, any garbage value or any symbol right because the character corresponding to this 2 in the sky table is I have told you from 0 to 31 those are unprintable characters these are just commands so it is printing anything right now if I write down here 32 or suppose if I print type cast it using this int then what it will, it will print? It will print, now it, will, it is printing 2, the integer value it is printing, right? 2 is what? Integer, we are not putting it into that, what you can say, single quote, right? So, simply integer value it is printing that is 2. Now, see if I print here 32, 32 is for space, right? So, what it will print? It will print nothing. See, it is printing nothing because it is for space, right? And now if I store 33, so 33 for 33, what it will print? Exclamatory symbol it is printing. You can refer to the sky table, right? Now it is for signed. It is signed care. Now if I print, the range is from minus 128 to 127. So if I take here 128, plus 128, see what happened, what it will print. See it is printing this symbol. For this you can refer to the extended sky table. For 128, this is the symbol, right? And if I 
write here 156 and then print then what it will print this symbol it will print for 1 156 if you print the int value means type cast into int it into int so with what it will print it is not printing 120 156 it will print minus 100 why because of that circle in that circle signed circle from 0 to 127 after 127 minus 128 means 129 means minus 128 130 means minus 127 like this then minus 1 means 255 right so that is why somewhere minus 100 would be there <coughs> and uh, for that 156 numbering is there so, so you can refer to that circle or if you are getting confused then simply 128 let us take this example for 128 it should print minus 128 because after 127 we get 128 but for 128 in the circle we have minus 128 right so see it will print minus 128 right so you have to keep in mind that circle like in c we will we, we are printing using percentage uh, c the character value percentage d the integer value right but here you have to type cast it like int we have done so this is how you can store the values if i take 255 here and i am not printing the int value simply what symbol is there for one 255 it is simply the delete command so it will print nothing see it is printing nothing right and if you want to check out the limit like minimum limit and maximum limit of these so there is one header file limits.h right you can just press control and click limits.h and see here you will get the limit see has to find character byte 8 bytes right signed care minimum minus 128 signed care maximum 127 unsigned care maximum 255 like this in limits dot h they have limit of for int also for short also for long also for long long also and see these are you can say the variables the macros hash define this thing simply in your program if you see out this thing shrt underscore max you will get this value you can try out this thing you can use these variables in your program also like if you want to use this s char underscore min it will give you minus 128 let me just show you one example see out s char c underscore min so it will print the limit is uh, sorry the minimum limit is minus 128 see it is printing minus 128 right and 255 you are taking so that is for delete so it is not printing anything for this character but you have to use the same symbol so you can check out these you can you know explore these header files also what are this in this header files so if you are confused like the range of these integer short and char you can just check out the limits dot h header file and there you will get the range right so I hope CAD data type is clear to you guys. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in comment section. Now in the next video, we will see WCAD underscore C, this white character, this data type. So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.